Okay, good afternoon. Mayor's update uh, following the regular meeting of council that we had yesterday, May 26th. So, uh, as usual, I'll go through the agenda, but first I want to, uh, we came down to George Lane Park to do this one because it's uh, looking unbelievable. And I just gotta give a good shout out to Kevin Brown and the K-Link crew that, uh, that has just worked their butt off all winter to get this thing back in, back in shape for us for the summer so that we can have George Lane Park back. You'll see all the sods laden and, and thanks to uh, Ken Nichols and the estate maintenance crew that I know a lot of us saw them laying all that sod and it was quite the operation to watch. But um, important to note that George Lane is not open yet. It's still a construction site in here, but um, pulled a little rank and got in here so that we could just show you guys a little bit of of uh, how George Lane's coming along and it looks awesome so thanks very much to uh, to Kevin and the K-Link crew just an excellent job of uh, keeping this thing on schedule and and getting George Lane back up and running so um, so going through the agenda three delegations that we started out with. First one was from the High River Scouts, and that was, uh, they're going to be working with Trout Unlimited program, the Yellowfish program, and that's where they'll go around and they'll paint yellow fish on, on all the storm drains in town that just, uh, and hang, hang little info brochures on everybody's door that uh, just reminds everybody not to uh, pour toxins down our storm waters because all those storm waters go back into our rivers into our lakes and um, you got to keep it clean and there's ways to dispose of that stuff that that will be uh, explained in these little handouts and everything so um, thanks very much to the High River Scouts for for doing that it's going to be a big job and a, and a very important job for those guys so thank you. Uh, Clothesline Community Project um, Nicole Levesque she uh, is with Literacy for Life and it's a community art project um, that'll be running for well pretty much the whole month of June and what it is you'll see stations in different businesses around town and you can grab a little a little cutout thing and write your uh, write your thoughts on it or whatever you want really and and pin it to a clothesline that's in that store uh, July 1st, all of the clotheslines uh, will come together and they'll, they'll be hung in George Lane here for the Canada Day celebration. So thanks very much for Literacy for Life and Nicole for putting that together. Um, third one was In Good Hands presentation and this is uh, from Caitlin Valgertson who's a community support worker with FCSS uh, along with Jamie Kinghorn and Diane Porter that uh, presented council with the In Good Hands banner and, and it's just all the support uh, people that are involved in the community support services in High River that uh, put a banner together and they all signed it and it's just to show us that as far as social and community support services we are in very good hands in High River so um, if you want to see it it'll be in council chambers hung up in uh, council chambers in the next day or so. So thanks very much uh, to Caitlin for doing that. There was one bylaw amendment, which is uh, just first reading that went through, and that's a 3.19 acre section out in the northwest, and uh, it's within the town of High River boundaries, of course, but it's just moving this small little chunk from, from an agricultural district to an R1 district um, to get these guys onto town services, etc. cetera. Um, it is important to note that uh, this little section is within the new berms and everything and um, there are existing homes that that are there and um, so it's nothing new that we're doing out there. Another it's, piece of new business on the uh, on the agenda was the Okotoks Dog 4-H Club. They're spearheading, spearheading fundraising for the current dog park um, and or current or future dog parks but the current dog park we have they're they're doing a fundraising thing to uh, to give money to to get our current dog park um, cleaned up and everything and it needs to be cleaned up so um, big thank you to them and this was just a recommendation that council will accept their fundraising efforts and uh, council appointment to the High River Air Show Committee that Dana Dickens is putting together. This is this is part and parcel with uh, the snowbirds coming to town. Um, 
but it was just a council appointment to that committee, so Councillor Cooey will be will be part of that committee. One of the other ones was the craft communities projects that uh, that goes on the craft food organization. They uh, they have kind of awards to certain communities for certain initiatives that they're doing, and um, so Doug Munn came and. Uh, presented to us as and just to get us get our endorsement of, of uh, applying for these for this uh, competition is really what it is so um, thanks very much to Doug for doing that um, that's pretty much it for the agenda items a few uh, extra things one thing that I'm going to start doing during these uh, videos is um, just kind of doing a shout out to certain individuals in town that are um, you know personal achievements but but we need to recognize um, our own citizens for for the great things that they're achieving around and one is Kimberly Allen who attends from High River attends SAIT uh, competed in the Provincial Skills Canada competition in Edmonton for IT software solutions and and they actually won that so now they're headed to the Nationals in, in Toronto. Um, so, you know, that, good for her for doing that. And, and congratulations, Kim, and good luck for, for heading to Toronto and, and representing High River. So um, other stuff that we'll talk about, Seniors Week is coming up June 2nd to 6th. Just follow the town crier. There's a number of events that are going to be happening through there. and. Um, It'll all be mentioned, the schedule will be, will be in Friday's Town Crier, so just pay attention to that to, to see the uh, events taking place for Seniors Week. One other item that I'm gonna touch, touch on is uh, the downtown infrastructure work. We have run into um, a bit of a delay uh, with one of the buildings, the Vespucci building. It does need to be shored up for safety reasons. There's structural issues inside, so they're doing that right now. Um, it's the structural issues are supposed to be supported by the end of this week and we can continue on but we had to move off of third and start construction on McLeod because if we did any vibration and compaction on third um, it could actually cause the Vespucci building to collapse and that's the last thing um, we want to happen so not only with with that one but we've got the guys that are they're assessing all of the buildings that are around the downtown infrastructure work so that we don't run into any other delays um, we're on an extremely um, fast timeline to get all this stuff done it's it's as aggressive as anything else we do in high river and it's foot to the floor to to keep this going but uh, you know our apologies for for the delay but it's the reality in high river and we've just got to continue to work through these so um, as we go along, again, any questions that anybody has as far as High River is concerned, we're all available. You know how to get a hold of myself or any of the councillors or um, a lot of the admin can answer your questions as well. So thanks very much. Enjoy the weather. It's gorgeous out in uh, High River. You deserve it. So enjoy it. Thank you.